Hello there, I'm going to take a look at Studio Max and modeling with modifiers. I'm going to take you through a model I created today and show you some of the modifiers that are used on it. So it's not going to be a step-by-step -step how to model this particular thing because this took a couple of hours, if not a little longer, to uh, create. Um, and what, what I've got here is a model of a network cable connector. Um, it's an RJ something or other, I don't know what it's called, whatever. Um, right, so we've got Studio Max up and running. Let's, uh, we've got the camera 6 on. Let's uh, right and click that and we'll take safe frame off. We don't need that on, we're not doing any rendering at the minute. Um, we also can swap that over from uh, camera 6 up to, this is right hand clicking by the way, uh, to perspective view. So, which is the same wherever you're going to be. I'll select part of the object here. I'm just going to go and rotate it around so we can have a look. I'm going to use my mouse wheel to zoom out a little bit. So I can see what we've got. Right, we've got lots and lots of cameras and things in the, in the viewport. Let's get rid of those uh, from the viewport. So let's go to view and uh, click and hold on that. Scroll up, and oh, I've got an email turning up. And we're going to go and hide cameras. Okay. The other thing we're going to go and do as well is um, I'm going to select the shape here, which is just a donut shape. Which is I've got. A, I'm using it as a null to rotate it. So I'm going to go and reset the rotation on that back to zero. So uh, with rotation selected, I'm going to right and click on it, get my transformer, and right and click on all these just to set them back to zero, zero, zero. Okay, so it's now flat on the grid. I can press G for grid. Uh, I've got a tiny little grid in there. I'm just going to zoom our um, viewport to maximum. So it's going to go jump out of the way for a sec. I'm going to go and quickly right and click on. You might not be able to see this. Right and click on my grids and say home grid and uh, don't inhibit and there we go so I'm happier now because that's more or less like max 4 which I like anyway there you go so that's cool so I don't need to see the shape anymore so I can hide that shape that's gone um, right let's have a look through the model then so um, let's go and select this, this mode of various parts as you can see if I hit W get my move tool you can see I'll move various items out of the way I'll just control Z that so with this I'm just going to go through this part, the sort of the cable and housing uh, area of the connector, and I'm going to say rather than hide selected because that's what we want to do, I'm going to say hide unselected, and that hides everything but. So with this selected now, I can go over to my modifier panel, and you can see what I went through. I'm just going to go and turn all of them off, then step through it. So let's go and turn off uh, Turbo Smooth and Symmetry and Edit Polys, and get all of these out of the way. Right, and there we go, and we just say yes to that, and we about that because that's a sub object going on there. Okay, so what we've got at the moment, if I zoom into this and put um, edge faces on with F4, is it's basically a box or half a box. As you can see, I've deleted the other side, and I'm going to have a symmetry modifier that's going to go and mirror it over, do a live mirror. Okay, and then at the end of that, I'm going to hit a turbo smooth to smooth it over, hit F4 to put it back to shaded faces. So you can see, basically, I just started with um, the box connector area because that seemed to be the most difficult thing to sort of sort out. So let's attack the most horrible, nastiest part of it and do that first. So it's just a box um, that is basically edited. And I'll turn some turbo to move off. You can just see it's a box with some um, extrusions and cuts. And uh, there you go. Try to keep it all quad so it'll sort of do its thing. Although it's very box shaped, so the next thing up for that was well, let's 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 not have it as a box shape. I'm going to turn turbo smooth back on again for the moment, and uh, F4 down here, make it smooth, and we'll sort of show you what I did next. So the next thing I did after this, I thought well, not sure what I'm going to do. I might go and ruin it, and I don't want to have to go backwards. So I'm going to add a modifier and just adjust the overall shape with an FFD lattice, which is a freeform deformation lattice. And I've set it to 4x4x4, four by four by four, which is the amount of control points in X, Y, and Z. So let's turn that on with a little uh, bulb. Switch that on. And that's basically all done with that is tapered that out. Let's go and select it. Let me just say yes to that. And you can see that I put a whole FFD lattice on the whole item and the whole model that I've got at the moment. And I've basically shrunk it down. And so I ended up with a taper. And if I uh, arc rotate around here, you can see I've got a bit of a curve going on with it now because it's, it's square at this end or squarish this end then it ends up being round at this end because you've got a round cable that's going to come out of it eventually and that sort of does that and so, okay that sort of worked, let's go and do an edit poly next and I've got an edit poly, hey, 
yes to the whole thing let's go to that and that one basically what we did with that was moved on to the next part which is there's a bit of uh, plastic that juts out the front of this so let's uh, switch that off like that you can see what happened yeah went from there to there basically and built that item and then after that I thought well let's go and amend what we've got and do another FFD and I've just rounded it out a little bit more okay so that's my next FFD and on this one just hit yes on that that's again that's on the whole model now that's on obviously the new part as well just to round it off a little bit more a bit more of a, an edit on that and then next up for well, let's do a uh, an edit poly hit yes on that okay and what we've got now is the very front of this if I can ever drag it off would be nice if we could wouldn't it let's have a look there we go sorry there we go so we've got uh, the very front of this now created here and a little bit of a item going on with that so next up would be another edit poly to fix that hit yes on that let's fix that guy on and there we go with that oh don't do that there we go so he's edited a bit more and sort of sort of working and then I did another edit poly which I think at the back of here I just started to, to build where the cable is going to come out yeah so we just going to yeah with that and hit that and basically there we go so we've got um, the cable coming out the back now and that comes into the actual item here and then we're sort of backing down here not sure what that is about I don't think that should be there but don't worry about it it goes eventually and hit yes to that and then I've got one just on the front here okay and that's just um, what I've done with that is basically let's turn that on that is basically going to reduce the top down because it was getting a bit boingy at the top it's supposed to be flat across the top and before that it wasn't it went up so I flattened it down a little bit okay and the next one will be an edit poly and that basically just finished it off finished off the edit and that is it that's the uh, final model basically um, I think I might have broken part of it by looking at it but we can just save it Th that little bit there should not be there I think that's with me holding and saving I might have accidentally moved something so there you go but um, there you have it and then of course we can uh, unhide the rest of it so how are we doing for time on this oh we're doing ok so we can unhide by name and we can say well let's unhide the clear box in group 2 and wires and hide them there we go and then we got basically that's our connector done yeah we've got a little clip thing up here which is this guy and uh, yeah there you go so same idea if I go and select him go modify again edit polys symmetry and turbo smooth yeah so just built half of it again got a lot of symmetry working over on one of the axes and uh, yeah well that's that's all of it really that is basically um, doing a bit of modeling with modifiers and uh, that concludes the video that's short and sweet um, so the, the idea here is if you modeling with modifiers you, you don't have to commit to um, a final model at any point um, you can try an idea out if it doesn't work you can delete it you don't have to go and rebuild again you just, just you just bin that modifier and uh, carry on from the, the point you were at beforehand. So it's in in other applications you'd probably throw it onto another layer and then come back. Uh, but this one's a bit more, a bit more sort of uh, forgiving of how you do your modelling. Um, yeah, that's it really. Um, with that, I'll see you another day. So catch you later. Cheers. Bye.